Play it again, Sam. Play it again. Hello. 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 Oh. Hello. We are here serving Met Gala Realness. We are back. We are here. We are, we are serving Matt Gella realness. Hey, everybody. How are you? We both have lavender. I like that. Oh, there's a little hit of lavender everywhere. Look at that. I tell you right now. Hold on. Here we go. I got to go to my other thing. Can I take a drink now? Oh, baby, you can take a drink. Whatever you need to take a drink. Why not? All right. My hair is everywhere. My hair. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey everyone. everybody. Who's out there? I don't Let know. us know. Give I us like my look for the Met Gala. They didn't really photograph it well, sadly. Mm. Although I took a step for a cheers, but I'm holding it out. Don't, don't leave me hanging. Oh, hi. Cheers. Hi. How are you doing? Oh. It's hard with this You head really piece. look lovely in that. It's deliciously divine. Ah. Who are you wearing? Oh, I'm wearing um, old costumes. Ricardo, I'm wearing old costumes. I'm wearing Home Depot. It's beautiful. I love. I kept my tags on, however. Well, I, Anna Wintour recommends you keep your tags on at all times. Oh, okay, I'm done. Michael, how are you? I'm done with that. Okay, I'm getting rid of my. Oh my gosh, that's too bag much. Up. I don't understand how those children do it on the red carpet. Oh, with, with, with those shoes. With those shoes, baby. No. Have, I have to do it. Hey. I have to do it. Oh. Oh. Who's in my back? What is that with that hair? What's going on with your don't hair? You like it? It's my Met Gala realness. Oh my God. But that makes you sound right. like you don't like it. Honey, we're going to talk about Miss Met Gallery, Miss Met, Met, Met Ball, the Met Ball. <laughs> we're going to talk about that this evening. But first, but first, let's introduce our cocktail. Oh, okay. Just an old fashioned margarita. We, mm. did a, we did a picture of margarita. You want to show them the picture? Child, you got to move the sink. This thing is heavy. It is heavy. We did a picture of margaritas. Hey, Lisa, we did a pitcher of margaritas. They're a bit orange because we like using orange juice. All fresh, all squeeze, fresh squeezed juice. Juices. All fresh squeezed juice. There's juices no sweet and sour in here. We don't we're the gays. We're, we're gays. The gays. We're the so gays. we're all fresh squeezed here. All right. Okay, let's get started. First things first. Uh, this little margarita is made. Oh, oh you I, went to the other thing. Ciao. Yeah, it it is three cups quartz orange liqueur. Uh, Cointreau is probably always going to be the best. Cointreau is always the best. We used triple sec because we didn't have We didn't have Cointreau. We didn't want to go to the store. We're cheap ass too. Hey, uh, hey. Freshly squeezed juice. We use fresh limes, fresh lemons, mm -hmm. and fresh, fresh oranges. oranges. Um, one and a half cups of tequila. We tripled that. And a quarter <laughs> cup of agave syrup. Quarter cup? You said, oh, half because cup because we, we doubled it. We doubled the rest All right. So make yourself a margarita. Come on in. It's looking good, y'all. Okay. Come on. You, it looks like you want to talk. Just and now we're going to do our fair use. Way. We have to do this every week. Ready? So we know. Set. Excerpts of copyrighted material may, under certain circumstances, be quoted and verbatim for purposes such as criticism, yes. news reporting, mm -hmm. teaching, and, teaching research, and research without the need without for the need permission for from or payment to the copyright holder. holder. All right, we've said that, we've we done. We don't know if that Let's really helps, shit. but we haven't gotten into trouble since we've done that. Do no, know, we've not. We got into trouble. That Will and Grace clip, NBC don't mm, like we us. We can't do that. They don't like us. All right, so I'm going to say hi to people. Say hi to people. Hi First to of all, hey, Bethany Harrington. Bethany Harrington is our line producer. Hey, she out there. You'll see her in all the comments. Uh, she she like my gold. Right there. Gold was big at the Met Gold Gala. was big. Yeah. I decided to wear a little bit. I want to well, serve some divine female trouble. Oh, uh, it's a good shirt. It is one of my very favorite movies of all time. We have some movie stuff for later that we're going to talk about. Um, hey, Cassandra. We oh, Cassandra, we're going to be grandparents. Y'all, I'm having a grandbaby. Cassandra, we're talking about that later. Yeah, I'm having a grandbaby. My son's having a baby. Not Sebastian. My <laughs> oldest son having a baby. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Not Sebastian. All right. Ricardo's, hey, cousin. How you doing? Hey, Laura Knapp. Uh, Lisa Venezuela. Hey, Tracy Cooley. Jeff Cooley. Who else is here? Robin, hey Robin, Where hey Madonna, how you doing? All right, so I like the neck. Jimmy Warren, welcome back, my love. So glad to have you in the house. All right, so much has happened this week. Should we jump in, y'all? 
It's been a week. I'm not ready with the scroll. No, so but we're going to drink. I'm drinking anyway. Mm. Something happened here in the California. It, 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 like t and also something happened 10 minutes ago. We had an earthquake. We, had an we didn't feel it. But there's you, an earthquake. You know, the thing is, your yes and skills are failing because you should just jump right in and then do an earthquake. You know what I mean? Well, guess what? California got shook up by these elections. That you like good. that? Say you did that. Corinne! Yay. All right, so these are the elections. So, ele for those of us that were worried that perhaps Newsom would be recalled, these are preliminary. These are not the final results. But they're close enough. They're close. They're enough. more like six million voters. So what happened was what, what happened, happened was, was no, they're two point nine million outstanding votes. No one going to win. They're not. So we got a recall here for our governor Gavin Newsom because and the Larry Elder don't like him, who we refer to as Rocky Raccoon. Well, you were. I always, I never remember that, but go ahead. Why mm -hmm. do we call him Rocky Raccoon? Rocky Raccoon okay, was coming out here trying to start some mess, right? Yeah. He, you know, he's like Trump black. So he came out here trying to start some drama. It did not work. He brought all that uh, Donald Trumpism bullshit to California. We well, said no. We're not said, having it. He said women. Hey, Jason women Kennedy. Women hey, David in, Nichols. He said too many things. He said women shouldn't be. In this man said, "Look, power. this black he man." He said that like black men said he would uh, invite George Zimmerman to be his neighbor, oh. and it was the it was the thugs who uh, were causing the trouble in that neighborhood that night. Come on, Uncle Ruckus, talk about it. But I don't have a clip of him. Who I have a clip of with her concession speech, maybe. He didn't campaign to do this campaign, this recall, on not one of his successes, because he doesn't have any. And I can't believe that this many people actually voted to keep him in office. It's a shame. Honestly, it's a shame. You kind of get the government you deserve. I don't know. All right, so we have to do something real fast, y'all. Hold on one second, because we're trying something completely new and different tonight. And I think it, we're, it, it's right there. The pixelation is coming from there. We have two computers working at the same time. But that might be the problem. And Maybe I think we think that's the problem. Well, but I would have to leave this entirely, which, okay. What if I just- Can you add that over to there? Hey, Jess, we'll just have to deal with everything here. Yeah. We're change All right, we're switching screens. No, we're not switching screens. What, are we what doing? I'm doing is that. I just got rid of... Bethany, let me know if that changed anything. Did that, check, did that change the pixelation? So anyway, Caitlyn Jenner was also running for governor in this recall election. And there's a lot of things. Again, I will reiterate, we do not call Miss Caitlyn Jenner out her name. We do not dead name them. We do not talk about them... Uh, you know, in any fashion such as that. There are too many other things to hate okay. about that heifer. Okay, we, we don't need to be, okay, but this is what I want to show you. This is what I want to show you. You were interested in the numbers of uh, Caitlyn Jenner. So what we have here, the top line is Caitlyn Jenner, bottom line, Angeline, who I voted for, because why not? Caitlyn Jenner got 56,000 votes and Angeline in the state of California got 26, so almost like half of the votes of that. However, you mentioned something that Angeline got more votes and I went searching. This is what LA County did in regards to Caitlyn Jenner and Angeline. As you can see, Angeline got more votes in LA County by 13. We have to stop. Oh. Because um, we are going to, Bethany, can you give me, let us know what we need to do because that, that our second computer screen has sort of screwed us up a little bit. What do we need to reload? We may need to reload. So Bethany is telling us to hit F5 and tell everyone it might be weird. Okay, so F5. We're going to do this. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think happen. that's what F5 means, whatever you're What does F5 doing? mean? Because I hit F and 5. Because, you know, I don't know nothing else. You know, hey, Banks. So what are we doing? Are we still pixelated? We are pixelated, I can tell. Hmm. Okay, shut off the other screen completely. It is. It's already, I mean, there's not okay, even that's an off. Answer. We've done that. Um... Maybe it's the earthquake that caused this. Ooh. All right, we need to go back to do I got this. an idea. Okay, we're gonna try something, y'all. Stay with us, okay? Stay with we're us. We're gonna try this for a half second to see if this does anything. Because well, the ethernet's supposed to help us, right? Okay, I don't do know we, what's happening. Do we just reload this whole thing? We're or? reloading, we're reloading. Do we? <laughs> we might lose everybody. We don't know what's gonna happen which would be bad because it screws up everything on both of our connections. 
Can you still see us? Did we disappear? Bethany said, just reload. You know about. I don't know what that will do. Okay. Anyone? Anyone? Anyone there? Are we clear? Okay. Are we back? Are we back? What's going on? Loser. We still seem to have people here. Oh, we are we are back, and we are just uh, okay. Okay, I think that worked. All right, is that it? Let us know in the comments. That's it. Yes, thank you. Hey, John Garrett. Oh, Taryn, I just say hi to you. All right, so all right, so anyway, let me clarify this. We don't need to clarify. We're moving forward. We're moving forward. All we know is that Gavin Newsom won by a whopping percentage. Uh, Trumpism's just... lost. And it was actually quite a beautiful thing. And we're so excited about that. So what are we talking about next, Big Daddy? So do you know the NFL had its first game this week? We are such sports fanatics. NFL stands for what? Go. No fucking lace. <laughs> I just made that up. Unless it's a lace front. NFL Go. had its first game. And one thing that the NFL did in regards to the, this season is they said that um, the Black National Anthem, Lift Every, Lift Every Voice, Voice and sing, sing, is going to be sung at every NFL game. Every NFL game. And so I have a lovely, because last week we talked about this and how Megyn Kelly was like, why are they doing this? Why are they politicizing football? Megyn well, Kelly. First of all, life has politicized Megyn Kelly. I'm not sure why football has anything, why it should be any different. But what the Football League is going to do is they're going to give $250 million investment. Over 10 years. Over 10 years. $25 million a year. Towards social justice within the NFL. Within the NFL. And so because this, what they've realized is that the NFL is all black. And they kind of, and like ultimately they messed up the Colin Kaepernick thing years and years and years ago. I didn't right? want to get into that. Right, but but they're realizing it and they're going, ooh, we got to look better. They're, I'm doing the Wallace and Gromit thing. Ooh, jeez. Um, <laughs> if they want to do better. So here's the they're deal. Do that anymore. People, right. people, do you know this, Michael Shepard? People who need people. People. People are like, people get up in arms about this. One of them being, well, Bill Maher. I've sort of done a little inner splice with Alicia Keys singing. Oh, wait, can I say something yes, about? Yes, you may. I, I'm gonna say something about Bill Maher. This no, no, is no. Something. Do it after the thing. Right, I'll do it after the thing. There. Go ahead. This, this is, is Bill Maher, and look at what he's complaining about. You'll see how this is a bit ludicrous. I saw last night on the football game, uh, Alicia Keys sang "Lift Every Voice and Sing." Lift every voice and sing. Which now I hear is called the Black National Anthem. Till earth and heaven ring. Now maybe we should get rid of our national anthem, but I think we should have one national anthem. I think when you go down a road where you're having two different national anthems, colleges sometimes now have, many of them have different graduation ceremonies for black and white, separate dorms. This is what I mean, segregation. You've inverted the idea. We're going back to that. Okay, I got some bunch of stuff to say. I, I, before, how do you look at what they presented with Alicia Keys singing and that montage and get full angry? That is amazing. To well, me. first of all, I want to say this is my husband created that montage. Which is, I know, rudimentary. He's, he's learning, how, he's learning, learning how to do all this stuff. It's, but hopefully I, I get better. Hey, hey Mr. If Bill anyone Williams. has hand friendly right. hints, oh, go ahead. Do your right, thing. I got to talk about this for a minute because it pisses me the fuck off. Mm -hmm. First of all, first of all, Bill Maher, guess what? Suck your dick? No. No. Thank you. First of all, just because you uh, like to date black women, does that make you an aficionado and coming in here to tell us how black people should feel about shit? Period. Mr. Bill Maher, you don't need to tell us how we need to feel. That is not your job. Stay in your lane. Second of all, I want you to talk about this clan splaining that you're doing. Yeah, I said it. You clan splaining. That's what I'm calling when white men need to tell black people how to feel. It's clan splaining. So, I hear clan splaining. Oh, we're working. We're on blood. Um, hey, kiddo. I have something to say. Uh, uh, our son. I want a moment so, say, say the words, excuse, excuse me. me. No. Someone said, now this is, 
I, for some reason, believe this person because they sound serious in the way they were typing. Can, can, I, can I do something first? Yeah. Sebastian's been doing a lot of stuff online today about the murder of George Floyd. So he's had a lot of questions about the police, about what were they thinking, what were they doing. So is this along those lines? No, this is about something. Else. Oh, but um, hopefully it's pertinent. Go ahead. Safe. Do your thing. So the other day I was playing on Roblox. I was playing online. Roblox, an online game. And I was playing Greenville, which is a game in Roblox. And um, I was on the fire rescue team, and someone and I uh, and I asked. Someone, I said, or I, I, you gotta wrap up I was watching, I was, I was playing the game, I was in the station, and then I think this guy brought up something, he, and he, and he said, I knew someone that was a graduate that died in the South Tower of 9-11 in New York, and I was like, wow. Oh, so we're talking about 9-11, and he's also been going through a lot of 9-11 stuff and sort of honoring yeah. the people and everything that went through, uh, we went through on that day and did that. So he's, there's been a lot of learning in this house about racism and prejudice and- Terrorism. Terrorism. It makes us sound like Schoolhouse Rock here. Wait, so what is your, is that I'm your just point? A you around that on that one? Me a bill. Was that weird to hear that, that someone I, and I said, online? I, I said, I'm sorry for your loss. I typed it in the night yeah. and, I, and I typed in salutes and I was just. Good job, dude. Yeah. And Give me some love. Mm -hmm. oh, All right, go back. We're going to finish this. We're going to finish this. Say goodbye to the people. Say goodbye to the people. No, no, no. Stop that. Say goodbye to the people. Hey, Bernard K. Addison. And please put right. Gilda and yeah. her in your room. All right, so, okay. So did you finish? I don't know. I didn't know. I know. I want to get back to I, this. I have a point. Like, I want to talk about that, but okay. I got to go back to this. Okay. okay. I just want to talk about Bill Maher. You need to stop. You, no, I'm sorry. You cannot tell us what they can help you. Okay. Right. So we're going to stop the transplanting. I got right. someone else that wants to talk about this. Oh, very okay. Go oh, talk. I think because we have gone backwards a good 10, 15 years, we're having to re-educate people. Mm -hmm. And just so you know, Bill, the Lift Every Voice has always been considered the black national anthem. Mm -hmm. It's always been that because the separation of the anthems has been so clear to us. Clear to us. The reason that we have separate things now is because we've not felt safe in your spaces, in your white dominated spaces, Bill. So yes, we need our own things so that we can feel safe and converse with each other. That's something you need to know, baby. You know, we have to feel safe because we don't feel safe at all anymore, period, with a T. Yes. yes. Anything else you want? Oh, oh, speaking of Whoopi. I'm jumping in. All right. Met Gala was on Monday. Whoop, whoop. Speaking of whoop, whoop, whoopi. Whoopi. So we're kicking it off with what? So, okay. What is your thing? It's thinking? like a blade of corn. Mm, a little bit of it's like a honey beat. This is a song from Color Purple, y'all. Because she is. Okay. I don't, okay, y'all, in the comments, just let us know what y'all think. What y'all think of Whoopi in the in this particular, well, first of all, it looks a bit rankled, doesn't it? Doesn't it look a well, bit I mean, rankled? she had to sit down in that. But some of them come standing up in little trucks and shit, so they don't have a rankled gown. Yeah, this is, it's a bit, Whoopi didn't care. All right, so we're going to move on. Does, so, Whoopi doesn't care. I mean, she's absolutely like, mm, no, it's a, so, uh, little Met Gala. So, did you, we were talking about this, and I said, do you know exactly what the Met Gala is? And both Michael and I were like, no, no. not really. It's no. a thing. So, we're going to give a little bit of backstory. When I get boring, you just cut me off. And, and we're gay, but we're not that gay. No, we don't okay, really. we're really gay. But we're not Met Gala gay. All right, Met Gala. It is the annual fundraising event for the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute. Did you know they had a costume institute? Did not know that. I did not know. It was started by Diana Breland, did it way back in the day, you know, editor of Vogue. B-R-E-E-L-A-N-D. L-A-N-D. And now Anna Wintour is in charge of it, has been since W-I-N-T-O-U-R. Wintour. M-I-S-T-E-R. Mister. I tied it back into the color purple. There she is. Oh, there's Anna Wintour. That's what she wore this year. She wore my mama's couch. And flounces. 
Mm. I, you know, she's worn so much over the years. At one point, do you go, I don't know what to do. What do you do? What do you do? I don't know, poor Anna Wintour. Life, yeah. Life's abounding. So this is a fundraiser. The chick, are you doing something? Sebastian huh. walked in and distracted me. Really bad. The preferences. Yeah, he somehow did something when he did that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we back? Lord, the child knocked us out. Oh my gosh. Anyway, Lord. enough of that. So they had a theme this year. It was called <laughs> Children. Teenagers. It's hard to do this with children. It was called American Independence. American Independence. All right. Before we go on, though, before we go on, I'm let ready. us know that we're back and we're not freezing or pixelated. I hate when you say that. We are back. It has been, I think this earthquake has thrown everything for a loop. We didn't feel it. Because my hip's too wide. But so okay. I'm going to read a America quote. Independence. Go, go. I like this quote. So uh, Andrew Bolton, who's the curator of the Met Cost the Met's Costume Institute, he wrote this. Uh, do you want to read? Um, I've been really impressed by American designers' this responses to the design, social and political Designers' climate, responses. Particularly around issues of body inclusivity and gender fluidity. And I'm just finding their work very, very self-reflective. I think young designers in particular are at the vanguard of discussions about diversity and inclusion, as well as sustainability and transparency. Andrew Bolton. And I just thought that was such an awesome message for today. I mean, you know, you're going to have this crazy event where people are paying $35,000 a plate and they're paying however much for their gowns and their jewels or whatever else. So it's nice that there's sort of at the base of it, there's sort of this, hey, let's try and be, why do I keep seeing our son walking around like, he's like, he's Evan stalking. User Scrooge. He's I don't know what tonight. is happening tonight. All right. I think he just walked out the door. Anyway, let's get to the show, shall we? So American Independence, I have to say this honestly was one of my favorite looks. Debbie Harry. Debbie Harry. I want to know what you guys feel about these outfits in the comments, please. Read, do comment. So there was sort of a denim theme. I'm going to run through them. Then Lupita did her denim thing, American Honey, Independence. Honey, can we I, talk about that hair? Miss Lupita Nyong'o can do no wrong in my eyes, can I have to say. Can we talk about that hair? I wish I had a better yeah, image of the hair. Come on. Can we talk about that? No. Yes. Go. Go back to your room, buddy. Thank yeah, you. We got the dog here. We'll take the dog. And Manhattan. Well, I, I don't know if this is Denim, but I thought it kind of fit in with kind of just being who he is. But Dan, Dan, Daniel Levy. But I know you don't like it, but I like that it's like queer love around the world type energy. I thought it was also, it goes through inclusivity. It goes towards whatever. Would I wear this to the mall? No, I would not. But I, I just thought. I might wear it to the mall. Ned Gal, I don't know. And then in but here's the thing though. I don't I, I don't like men at the Met Gala. I don't think they dress as well. I think that they can go further Billy with Billy Porter. Now. Billy Porter. Last two years ago. Now that was something. But I just don't know. I don't know. Just keep going. I mean, like, Let's go. So this was inspiration. Where did I put it? For my overlook, for my, my sleeping bag wear. So this is why I wore this. Here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about this. So this now, is. Now I want you to leave that up. So I, I want well, people to look. Let's at say that. who it is. It's ASAP Rocky. Well, ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky. Rocky. And Rihanna. And Rihanna. Rihanna. You know, we all know Rihanna's the shit. Rihanna and unfortunately, is the it's not a shit. great image of what she wore. I like kind of what she wore. Hey, Damone. I got did this picture more for like the quilt. All I, right. So why is he wearing the quilt that my sister made for me? when I first went to college. Take it off. I don't understand. Cause this is crazy. It's like his grandmama made that. I don't understand what that is. Yeah, it. Was it cold? Were you like sitting there like this? I don't feel it, I adore I you, to, baby. I have, to, I have to share with everyone. Something. Okay, share some. Our son is walking all around the house, going outside and turning on power tools. 
It's highly this amusing. This might be our last it. show because we might be dead. We might be dead. So it, you He's know, literally outside, <laughs> like sawing drills, something. saws, leaf blowers. It's wanna, all happening. I just want to say that he's outside <laughs> right now, and I'm hearing something being so sawn. Sawn? It's a drill. Sawed? It's a drill. Is that a drill? Yeah. I don't know. But there's a movie from the 1970s called The Toolbox Murders. I think you may have seen it. And on that All right, note, go. I uh, love it. You didn't like it? I think I've seen that leg before. It's J-Lo. It's not, OK, let me, let me be very clear. Oh my god. Let me be very, very clear. J-Lo yes. looks amazing. She did it. I mean, my god, the woman looks amazing. She's 82, and she looks I heard she was 87 and drinks the blood of young babies at the bottom of a pizza shop in Brooklyn. Is she really? That's mm. how she does it. Mm -hmm. Now, here's my black power, ladies. You, you, you went by this, but you didn't tell me what it looked like. I mean, Regina King. That's stunning. You know, I got to bring up my pictures of me and Regina King when we did our thing together. Whatever. Can we put those up? OK, Michaela Cole. Michaela Cole. Everybody. Who, by everybody, the way, we're, we're going to promote the Emmys at the everybody, end of this thing. Nominated everybody, for an Emmy for this year. Everybody. Oh, two Emmys, right? Because she's yeah, writing and yeah. she's acting. Everybody, look at that. Yeah, that's Look at that. Look at that. Next. And I know this isn't your total cup of tea. I think she looks amazing. Jennifer Hudson. No, I think it's a beautiful. I think it's beautiful. But look, I you're, you're qualifying gorgeous. it with your voice. But yeah. I mean, that's no, it's stunning. gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Her hair looks amazing. Her face is beat for the gods. And then I think your favorite Amazon ever, honey. Okay, so here, first of all, me and Miss Iman go back. This is Iman. Um, for those of you who don't know, we go back Iman. to. Iman came into David a Burry's nightclub I used to work in in Chicago. Widow, her and I were like this. You and Iman, we were like this for a, a hot minute. So it's like, but she came in and said, "I don't know what you bitches are doing, but you're not doing this because <laughs> this look right here, this hey, look Dad? right yeah. here, we're doing a show. This yeah, really, look right really. here, it's gonna go through my head. I feel it. Is everything." That's everything. So can I share a story? Share the story. So one of my first jobs in New York was ushering um, at the Royale Theater, and I ushered Speed the Plow, which starred, of all people, Madonna. No, you got to keep this up. Right. Okay. Oh, oh you're, okay, because this has to stay. All right. Oh, I understand. What you're, well, do your comments down there. No, there's different over here. Oh, my goodness. I'm going, there's 87 comments. Um, and so they can let me lose my train of thought. So Iman... I don't remember if it was with, I don't remember if it was with David Bowie or not, but, but came in to see the show and she was kind of down in front over to the side. But tall, this woman is tall. And so she sat down in like, you know, third row stage left. And this patron comes up, this little wizen patron comes up and goes, Is there a way I can get another seat? I can't see. Because you know, she had the hair and she's like, you know. She's like four feet out of the chair and she's just was blocking everything. So can you imagine? I was looking at this, thinking of that would totally you wouldn't want to sit behind Iman watching the theatrical. I sit behind Iman anytime. <laughs> sit with okay, because I, I will tell the story. I will tell the story at some point of like the trouble Iman and I used to get into. Oh my God. You and Iman. It was, it Why was don't crazy. you reach out? I say, could hey, probably and say, know, hey. That could be part of our show. You can reach out to all of the people you have had connections. Boy George, Yvonne. Um, Boy George, are we still? OK. Click. Um, Jeffrey Dahmer, are we still? Ooh. So this is when you get to be political. So here we are. This all is right. yours, Kiana uh, Chasing Horse. All right. So this is Kiana Chasing Horse. And uh, what are the, first of all, indigenous to the nth degree, baby. And is a political activist. This is a fucking good margarita. It is a fucking good margarita. It is a political ap ap activist and is out there on the front lines every day. Also, a model. She's gorgeous. She's been on the cover of Vogue. Okay? So look at that. That is what an activist looks like right there. Who doesn't want the last and coming in, chasing horse? And coming in amazing. and representing what America is. Sure. Sure. Is. American independence. Because that is what America is right there. If you really must know, children. And I All right. I had to do this. I had to represent. Hey, MJ. MJ Rodriguez. Oh, nominated. wait, 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 wait. What? MJ doesn't go by MJ anymore. 
Well, we don't know that for certain. Well, we don't know. We're going to say MJ right now because we've been reading stories we had, with their full name. We're gonna, we went on to the, the Emmy, the pre-Emmy thing, which, you know, the Emmys are this Sunday. And MJ is nominated for Pose for lead lead actress. And I and we saw a different name down there. Yes. MJ is possibly changing her yeah. name. I've got, I'm, like, trying to think of my pronouns. But anyway, I thought but, this was positive representation. For, oh, yeah. Look at that. And this one, which I think is amazing. So we've talked about Naomi Osaka. I read the shows, and I wanted to do a close up of the hair specifically because that is look at that spectacular. How gorgeous! Look, you know, there's a meme. There's I don't know how many people are on TikTok. Is there a meme about the no, angry there, no, blonde? No, no. There's there's this thing on TikTok where they talk about the fact that no matter what you do. No black person is ever alone because there's always a white person in your business. And that's what it looks like to me. There's a white girl over here. There's a white girl here. They're like, why does she get the press? But it's like, honey, Miss Naomi Osaka, she, and, she ate. I'm interrupting. What? This is your favorite, I almost think. Oh, my favorite. Your boy. Mm. So little Nas X had three looks. Came in with the cape, took it off with C-3PO, took that off. And then he looked, look how freaking hot he looks in that jumpsuit. I mean, that's amazing. The only problem I have with it, Let's see they never can. showed his booty. They kept showing the front. I wanted to see the back. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, I know the boy 22 years old, but God damn. Mm. And this, probably one of the most talked about looks of the whole night. We have to do it. Tax the rich. Tax the rich. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, politics in the house at the Met Gala. So what, some, are you, what are your thoughts on the dress? I loved it. Yeah? I loved it. I really did. Um, there are some folks who had some problems with the dress. You think so? Yeah, there were some couple people who had some problems with the dress. And actually with just her being there, her presence, her brownness. So I have, this This was one of the most inappropriate responses to her dress that I that we came across. Well, if you've been awake at any point over the past 24 hours, you've probably seen the picture of Sandy Cortez showing up at a $30,000 a head gala in New York wearing a dress that says tax the rich across the back. So Cortez claims she wore the outfit to start a conversation about what it means to be a, quote, working class woman of color and not at all she would stare at a picture of her butt. That's her view. Okay, Tuckums, first of all. Oh, my God. Um, how sexist is that how that you had to bring up her butt? And I, the fact he said Sandy Cortez in that very Sandy, demeaning, Sandy. First of all, who the fuck is Sandy? And by the way, you can't do that when I huh, got to move I forward. You got to move forward. But I also want to say this, Kathy Walker, happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday, Kathy! Happy Walker. birthday! How did you know this? Because I know everything. Because you know I'm a magical Negro. Before you even comment further on Tucker right. Carlson, I'm going to let you see what um, what AOC says about her very dress. Rich right there, uh, but it's really about. Having a real conversation about fairness and equity in our system, and I think that this conversation is particularly relevant as we debate both a budget and you know budget and reconciliation bill. But we're talking about providing working families with childcare, healthcare, meeting the climate crisis at the scale that it deserves. So it's not about looking at her butt, Tuckums. She has thought, message, intelligence. Deal with it. And those of you who are like ready oh to bring her up on charges, God. she didn't pay for the ticket. She was invited, both her and her boyfriend. Um, the dress was borrowed, loaned to her. None, there was no personal money. She ain't got 30. Her and her boyfriend don't have $60,000 to buy two tickets for this. So, so one of the things that we found out is at the Met Gala, you knew you could have a company like Google or Google Google. Google. Google, Google, or Yahoo, or whatever, buy a table. These margaritas is good. They're so freaking good. And then do they'd invite like influential people that might not have the money, or Anna Wintour herself might go, "Hey, I want AOC at the ball, so I'm in." So, so a lot of people who do not have the money do go to the ball. Anna Wintour actually invited all the trans folks. Basically, that was it. Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah. all the people. You know, from we can poke fun at her, but that's awesome. But she got some that's issues. Awesome. I mean, there's, there's some. She's problematic. And a wind tour is problematic. Let's be very clear. And we have uh, one last gown. I, I just, I'm in love with Simone Biles. 
Simone Biles. Simone Biles. Not to be confused with Simone the drag queen, who was also there that night and showed up. We don't have a picture of that. But um, yes, look at that. You so want to talk about what that I'm dress an, is? I'm going to do something with the dress. So I'm letting you all know. So it was, first of all, inspired by Showgirl. She wanted sort of a Josephine Baker thing. I don't know if I'm quite seeing Not that. Showgirls the movie. No, 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 although, no. Although. Although. All right, so wasn't Josephine Cher, Baker. Wasn't Cher in that? No. She was. Cher was not in Showgirls? Which one was Showgirls? Cher then? was in the one with, uh, what's the face, wanted to be a, a singer. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And what's whatever that, one that called? God, we're so not gay anymore. We used to be really oh, Showgirls gay. was the one with Showgirls is where they show they throw the uh, pearls down with what's her face. With what's her name? The and the girl slips and she gets the first place. We know what we're talking about. God, okay, so, let me tell you this about. We used to be so gay. I'm, I'm going back to the dress. Go, go to the dress. To oh, now we're back to being gay. Over a hundred people worked for six thousand seven hundred hours. Okay, I just have to say that again. A hundred people worked on this. Six thousand seven hundred hours. There are 17,000 feet of Swarovski sand. Swarovski. I can't say that word. Crystals, uh, chains, crystal chains, 200 feet of tool, and it weighs 88 pounds. And so one wonders. Doesn't one wonder, Michael? One wonders. How does someone who weighs 98 pounds... Step by step, don't go too fast. See, they need <laughs> step, they, step. No one's <laughs> step, step, step on over. So I, this is the she, this is she the had thing. six people. First of all, six people had to hoist the dress as she walked up those steps. Because the dress weighed more than her legs. I kind of remind me of the pit crew. Pit crew. So RuPaul reference. Go. So I just want to say, first of all, burlesque. Thank you, Robin. Burlesque. Thank you, uh, David. It's called burlesque. Where she buys the airspace. Showgirls was Christina Aguilera and, and Cher. Cher. Gotcha. Thank you. Not Showgirls. What was that one? Showgirls was, was Sister was, Girl for Ring by the Bell. Uh, yes, was, yes, no. yes. Was it? And by she, the Bell. And Saved she, by the Bell. And she was also in um, She was in First Wives Club, weirdly enough. Oh, yeah. She played the girlfriend in First Wives yeah. Club. Elizabeth. She married Hussey. not to John Schneider, Elizabeth but the, the hot. Hasserundo. Elizabeth, someone knows. Hasselbeck. Hasselbeck. Good Lord. Oh my God. <laughs> These are just, but, this, okay, is, this is there's happening. There's burlesque, show, which one's burlesque and which one's showgirls? Burlesque, you know, so. burlesque, burlesque is, is the one with, with Christina Aguilera and yes. Cher. There we go, yeah. now we're done. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Okay, um, Michael Shepard, you might not know this, but there was someone who actually did not go to the Met Gala. Who did not go to the Met Gala? Nicki Minaj <laughs> did not go, Elizabeth Berkeley. Nicki Minaj did not go to the Met Gala? Well, why was that? Do you want to read it? Um, they want to get you vaccinated for the Met. If I get vaccinated, it won't for the Met. It'll be once I feel I've done enough research, I'm working on that now. In the meantime, my loves, be safe. Wear the mask with two strings that grips your head and face, not that loose one. Prayer hands heart. <laughs> <laughs> So Nicki Minaj, who, you know ha her. who has been an institution at the Met, she's gone to the Met Gala. She's dressed in her finery. She did not go. She chose, you know what? Not going to do it this year. You have an issue? Do no, I you can't. It? You can't. Okay, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm set up. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll start so, an issue if you want me so, to. So okay. Because Joy, no, no. Here, Joy, let Joy Reid talk. Okay. Joy Reid has an issue. And people like Nicki Minaj, I have to say this. You have a platform, sister, that is 22 million followers, okay? I have 2 million followers. You have 22 million followers on Twitter. For you to use your platform to encourage our community to not protect themselves and save their lives, my God, sister, you could do better than that. So, you could do better than that. Joy Reid jumped on the bandwagon on this one. Yes. With a crescent curl. With, I'm not sure I like that style on her. I'm sorry. My, I, I, but anyway, I'm not going to go into Joy Reid style. I am a Joy Reid fan. We all are. 90% of the time. This 95 is a, for this, me. This is a 10% for me. I don't think this was right to go after Nicki Minaj like this. I all right. Really hey, Bash. Hi. <laughs> Our son. Good. I'm a teenager. No, I mean, no, here's the deal. I Do mean, your thing. I'm just, 
child. No, you can't be tired. I understand. Don't act fatigued. You have 20, you, you have all these millions and millions of followers. Yeah. It's like, first of all, we are eight months into the vaccine. Right. We are now eight months into the vaccine. What fucking research you need to do? Yes, but may I point out one thing? What right? research? She says, wear the mask with two strings that gripped your head and face. Not the loose one. No, she says she, wear the mask. She there. is not saying she doesn't believe in it. She's not saying, I, I. she's saying, I need a little more time. And here's the deal. I know people in my life, you know people in your life, that have taken their time trying to figure it out. My they, nephew got vaccinated today. I'm so happy I can't oh, stand I it. I didn't know that. Yeah, got vaccinated today, finally. I have a friend, I'm not going to name who this person is, but my friend is a nurse and they have knowledge. They mask like crazy anyway, and they're, they want to temper themselves. They don't know what the vaccine might do to them. They know their bodies. They feel like it might do something. Eight I, months. But I'm not- Eight months. I'm not here to challenge that. The thing is, my friend is staying safe while making that decision. My friend is not- Maskless in okay, the your store. friend is a nurse. Your friend, our friend right. is a nurse. But my friend is. But I want to say this: Nicki Minaj, you ain't a goddamn nurse. <laughs> you are not a you 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 are not someone who does research, girl. So, she sent out two texts, two tweets within tweets. about like three hours. Here is the second tweet. Are you reading? I, I'll read it. My cousin in Trinidad won't get the vaccine because his friend got it. But you're doing it wrong. What? You're not doing it right. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna have someone else do this one. His testicles became swollen. His friend was weeks away from getting married. Now the girl called off the wedding. So just pray on it and make sure you're comfortable with your decision, not bullied. Now, two things about that tweet. Last night we read it, we put the graphic on the screen and we suggested that Nicki Minaj's cousin is the one with the swollen testicles in Trinidad. And we were wrong and we want to admit it. We henceforth correct the record. So you see why I had Tucker do that. He has oh, yeah. the inflection. He has the knowledge. He has the bandwidth in order to do a Nicki Minaj tweet. I felt like you weren't quite on it. I have to tell y'all, I did not know that was going to happen. So Tucker. So it, I played right into this bitch's hand. <laughs> right into this bitch's But hand. here's the deal. We haven't rounded out what Tucker said. And this next bit is possibly one of the most amazing journalistic efforts I've ever seen in my life. Take a peek. Nicki Minaj's cousin's testicles are not swollen. As far as we know, he's fine. It's Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend's testicles who are swollen from taking the vax. That's the claim. Now you say it. You know, my cousin, he got a friend. Here, no, watch this. And my cousin's I want friend, you, I you know. honestly want you to try to say this. Here, well, listen, it's a tongue twister. Do right. it. I mean, Tucker Carlson's a genius. He did a tongue twister. Listen. Nicki Minaj's cousin's testicles are not swollen. As far as we know, he's fine. It's Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend's testicles who are swollen from taking the vax. That's the claim. Say it. Nicki Minaj's cousin's testicles aren't swollen. It's his cousin's friends that are who has the testicle problem that are swollen. Let me help At you. At least that's what happened. Go. Nicki Minaj's cousin's testicles are not swollen. As far as we know, he's fine. But Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend's testicles, who are swollen from taking the vax, well, that's the claim. I have to point out one thing. Look at this syntax one more time. It's Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend's testicles who are swollen. I believe that should be a that are swollen. I think he misread his telephone. Honey, he's like Sondheim. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel had another take on this. Nikki's cousin's friend got the COVID vaccine. Then his testicles swelled up. But that doesn't mean his testicles swelled up because he got the COVID vaccine. And for this friend of Nikki's cousin, I hate to say it, but if your testicles swell up that big, the question isn't, did you get a vaccine recently? It's, what have you been doing to your balls? <laughs> and There's a bunch of things. He what just, have you been doing to your balls? He has a bunch he had of. He very borscht belt with yeah. that one, didn't he? I love the borscht belt. Go. That's where I live. So I just want to say this. Yeah. My husband puts this show together. <laughs> Literally, he spends like three days putting all this shit together. I sit and I play spades online. He puts this together. I say, get me this and information. He this. And he I, might, sit, he might I literally not. will text him and go, here, here's what you need. Blah, blah, blah. Here's what you need. And I'm going to call and say, Thank you for all the hard work That's you do. Sweet. Bethany, you do a lot of hard work as well, but my husband does the, does the he big heavy lifting. So thank you. All right. So <laughs> fuck her. 
New York Times Magazine got in on the game. This is their, their headline. Go. The White House wants to talk to Nicki Minaj about her cousin's friend's balls. It didn't stop. Like, literally, if you go online right now, all you see, all you see anywhere is... <laughs> and the th weird thing about uh, Tucker Carlson... Want to know, okay, here, this is the question. What do Tucker Carlson and Jimmy Kimmel have in common? Are you ready? Go. They want Nicki's cousin's friend to come on both of their shows. <sighs> This person in Trinidad could literally make a killing. So Nikki's cousin's friend, if you are out there and you're listening to Boozing with Gays, which I don't know why he wouldn't you, be. Why wouldn't you be? <laughs> we love big balls. <laughs> we will personally we understand everything about big balls, baby. Go to Tucker Carlson, make some money. Go to Jimmy Kimmel, make then some come money. Come over here. We'll make you, what? what's, what's a big ball drink? Does anyone know what a big ball drink <laughs> is? A big ball drink? I don't know. I like a, it. A, a blue lagoon. I don't know. These so the weird things. thing about I have to bring this up because I find this it, Nicki Minaj sort of didn't leave the news cycle this entire week. She decided I'm going to keep staying in, and I'm not sure I'm appreciative. Now I want to say this about I want to backtrack to Joy Reid because I believe Joy Reid jumped on a bandwagon that didn't need to be jumped on. Nicki Minaj did not say, I don't disagree. want to get vaccinated. Yeah, you can totally disagree. But she does have a huge following, so I do agree that with you, that, okay, maybe be a bit more careful with your information that you're putting out there, and saying that, oh, my cousin's <laughs> friend in Trinidad got some monster balls, that's a little irresponsible, Nicki. You and I, you know, we both know. Child. You gotta, You got to fix Child. that one. But I don't think Joy Reid should have added as much fuel to the fire in that way. So I have one more. Um, so, but so I didn't say this. So there's the whole. Oh, I, there's so many things about this. The White House clip. <laughs> so she thought she was going to be invited to the White House somehow, to the White House. some way. I was like Jack A. And Jen no, I was Psaki. like, no, I was like, I was like just doing like Nell Carter. Where are you going to the White House? I, I started Jack A more than now. Uh -oh. That's okay. Where are you going, me? Nikki, you going to the White House? And then the White House is like, no, 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 we're not inviting you. I, we're inviting you to attend a phone call from a doctor that we have who's very distant from Joe Biden. And she was really pissed off. She's gone back and forth. She had a thing with Piers Morgan. Did you see that one? I'm I don't asking. know. I don't know anymore. She had a thing with Piers Morgan, who basically, in, in his tweet, called him the, and I don't want it. The reason why I don't have it is I don't, like, I feel like we shouldn't really bring out Piers Morgan because all he does and honestly, he a new job at Fox, though, Pierce. But what he does is he rags on black women constantly, constantly. He had a Mel he had a, 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 a Osaka. What's her name? Naomi Osaka issued this week. He had a. I was going to say Melanin Osaka. Melanin Osaka. No, that's not. Melanin Osaka. Melanin Osaka. No, it's Naomi. No, it's not. He had a, a Nikki. Anybody, Nazi. any woman with melanin, he go. Hey, he goes after. Her. And, he, and he called. He called. This is where I'm kind of for Nicki right, Minaj. Okay. And I know you're going to be mad at me at this. But he called Nicki Minaj a rude little madam, right? You're a rude little madam. I just want to show you what her, this is her Twitter profile now. All right. So read this. This is Nicki Minaj. Look at the bottom of the page. Rudest little madam. Rudest she, little madam. She totally Pierce took. Flag. She totally went, Pierce Morgan, fuck you. I'm going to take it. And now it's mine. I'm the rudest little madam. Here's the deal. Uh, <laughs> Nicki, baby, I know you got a lot of shit going on. There's a lot of, lot of, lot of shit going on. I have one thing to round this out, though. There's a lot of shit going on. I'm just going to say to you this. What? Um, Y'all drunk. We're not drunk. Jimmy Warren, you, you don't know me. You don't know us. Telling me I'm drunk. Lots of trouble. Female trouble. If you have not seen this movie, you need to see it because one of the greatest lines in the history of films, the, the greatest line ever, is when Taffy Davenport talks to her mother in this movie and says, I can't believe we did this segue. Go, go. And Tell says us. to her mother. Yes. Says to her soon to be her, her stepfather. stepfather. Says to her stepfather. That's who she said it to. The stepfather says, hey, Taffy, come over here and suck my dick. Right. And Taffy Davenport says to him, I wouldn't suck your lousy dick if I were suffocating and there was oxygen in your ball. Lots of trouble, female trouble. All right, Nikki. I'm We're done. rounding it. We have one more. Yep. 
I swear we're, we're at the out. end of this show, y'all. No, we're not at the end of this show. We got 10 minutes. We get to eat. All right. Well, I have one more thing about Nicki Minaj. So on Wednesday, I have to read this from the page. So excuse oh, my head and turn it down. No, I have to do this. Terrence Dayal Singh. Say it. Terrence Dayal Singh. He is the, I don't want you to do an accent. What the fuck is that? I'm horrible at accents, so we don't want that at all. He is the health minister of Trinidad and Tobago. And he gave the last word on the swollen ball syndrome. And unfortunately, we wasted so much time yesterday running down this false claim. As we stand now, there is absolutely no reported such side effect or adverse event of testicular swelling in Trinidad, or I dare say, Dr. Hines, anywhere else. None that we know of anywhere else in the world. There's no swollen balls that he knows of anywhere else in the world. No. And that is where you can be mad at her because I do believe with her 500 million followers, now, the she posted, reposted, re like, like thought information that was not truthful. So go ahead, be mad, go. anti -Nikki. I'm not gonna be mad, okay. I'm mad at him because I've known several swollen balls in my lifetime. And? And they do exist. Just know. not from a COVID shot. Let's move on from Miss Nicki Minaj. Oh, Let's I have go. To tell you something. Wait, I don't, tell I don't have these last two things. Are you they are over here. Me? I can type them in, maybe. Oh, we don't have them. So when we're working with our second computer. Here, let me type them in while I'm thinking about it. All right. It. Here, talk Should about talk about this as I type. So all I'm, right. I'm gonna do some typing. So okay. Daddy does so uh, he's gonna do some typing. There might be some like. What'd you just do? No, they're, they're gone? Still, no, they can still you, see Can you. they still see me? Yes. Oh, they can still see me. Okay. So he's typing right now. Um, so here's the deal. We're going to talk about some, a little bit of COVID stuff just right now. Um, uh, there, We are rationing uh, care at this point. Rationing care, which actually sucks. And the rationing care is particularly in three states. It is Idaho, Alaska, Montana. And... We're rationing care because I have to stop right one, there. It was, Wait, so Michael said to me, "There's this article where they're rationing care in the states, certain three states, for you know helping people because the the hospitals are full." And the thing that that I thought of, I go, "Well, that's Louisiana, that's Alabama, that's Georgia, that's you know all Florida." I thought it was all those southern yeah. states, and not one of these are the southern states. So what I, I find, know. what I find fascinating about this topic is that COVID is affecting places that that I'm not always thinking of. Alaska, Idaho, uh, Montana, and Alaska. Yeah, Montana. Yeah, and Idaho. The one piece of information I have about that—that's one of the least vaccinated states with forty percent fully um, immunized people. So Idaho, just do better. We need, to, okay. like, they have a mayor. This Once is, again, they have a mayor that doesn't matter. I mean, it's what do you do? So here's Not a mayor, sorry, governor. They have a governor that doesn't promote. So, Mass mandates, and I mean, when you look at—I keep interrupting you—but when you look at the odds. The governors that don't promote mask mandates have the worst states in COVID tests. I mean, in in, in that test, COVID issues, casualties in I, deaths, in margarita talk. So here's the deal, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna say this, and I say this about racism as well. If you have a racist cousin, tell your racist cousin they're racist, and explain to them why they're racist. Do your work and tell them why they're racist. You if you have a cousin, oh, shutting up now. Hutch, shut up. As we, we don't say hush, we go hutch, hutch. I ignore it entirely. Hutch. I don't always hutch. Hutch. <laughs> um, tell your cousin, send them facts and just say, here's your shit. Send them a My fact. nephew got <laughs> vaccinated <laughs> said, today. What? Send, oh, facts. Send them facts. I thought you said send them a fact. Send fact. them a fact. <laughs> 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 Go back to nineteen. Go back to nineteen. If you have a cousin with friends, would you send them a fax? And send them a Just fax. Just send them a Go fax. Go back to the future. All right. I didn't realize tequila. We keep forgetting tequila takes us <laughs> well, the fuck I'll out every time. time. Rum, gin, every tequila. Time. We have a bunch every of every time. <laughs> it takes us the fuck out. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. I just want to say one quick thing. Guess what? One in 500 Americans are dying from COVID. 
Well, are we doing the? Okay, I wanted to do it. So we Michael has a share, and I, I I find this a difficult share. I'm sharing my screen. Hopefully, this works. Let us know if it does not. So we're gonna try to figure this because we had it all worked out. Yeah, I know we did. Um, it's, let's see. It's this is fun. improv as fuck. Can y'all see that? I don't. You're gonna have to look down there to see if they can't. Let's see. see. Hold so, on. Look at my. I'm looking at that. Why are you talking like you're? <laughs> so this is a site called SorryAntivaxxer.com, oh, yeah. and it's a little bit depressing, and yet I think it's educational at the same time. So if you scroll down, what you see are these are people that have recently either passed away or are extremely ill um, from COVID, and it talks about these people. We're gonna pick one. Are you gonna pick one of these folks? Um, go to uh, Sister Girl. I don't know what you're talking. The clown. Oh, the clown's down here. So, so these are all so people this who is, are dying okay, So COVID. Denise Truffle Lyonnais, it's a very Frenchy name, uh, 68, she was in Florida. She's an anti-vaxxer and she's a clown and she died. So you could click on the link and it kind of gives you what the people have come in and they've given information. It might it contain the obituary, it might it contain like- um, Truffles is dead. Right, she's Truffles and she did. Might contain like facts. Well, it's just, why are you laughing? Truffles I'm is dead. Sorry, Truffles is dead. Not the first clown I've Look at this. Laughed Funny how died. we were raised not to be peer pressured into taking experimental drugs, and now we're being peer pressured into taking experimental drugs. It's not experimental. The vaccine is not experiment. Anyway, so, so you go to these sites. I honestly can't do any more of this. I have to stop it. It's just it's driving me a little bit insane. Where are you going? You have I, to go back I, to I, us. I know. So, but what's fascinating about that site to me um, hey, is, Karen Carl, we love you. is that you look through all of these people who had such extreme beliefs, whether they're anti-vaxxers or QAnon people, they're, eh, they were on the fence, they just didn't know. And it's sad in that many of them have passed away. But what 98% I like- 98% of the people on this list, and there are Thousands. But what what I like, weirdly enough, like about the site is that they aren't bitchy. They aren't bitchy Shitty. about it. They're just saying, "Hey, you need to know this. You know, go on site and learn." So, for what that's worth, I. And do you have any more? It's just y'all. Are we? Doing, we don't have to go through this. We don't, don't. I don't have that one. I All right. Don't. Keep oh, talking. You talk. I you talk 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 while because, I figure this because out. Because we have stuff that was on the other thing. All right, so I want to say this. I don't know what to say right now because Hutch is like typing in front of me and it's always so weird. But what is I thought we were doing date night movies. I know, but I don't have the, what is the enemy where things are like who should win or whatever. I don't care. We can go through that. Do date night. I this is very comfortable. What's going on with your hair? All right. It means who should win, not Bing. Don't go to Bing. It doesn't matter if it's, oh, that's Guardian. I don't want that at all. Because of Guardian. We're like totally not doing it. All right, so anyway. You, you're this supposed is where to we cover are. for me as I do this. Well, I wasn't prepared. I've been drinking for an hour. It's not entertainment. It was Entertainment yeah. Weekly. Weekly. That's why I find That's out. what it's called. So we're going to figure out how to have like two computers. We are Bethany. Help us. Mm. This is the okay. Good, we're back. Right. I'm back. Come back to this. Okay. So, what could do you want to do? Uh, date Real night. Quick. I want to do date. Or night. do you want to do Emmy? I want to do date night. All right. So, we so we, I found this website, and this is very important for those of y'all who. What just happened? Keep talking. All right. For those of y'all who are dating, and if you are dating, we're going to share this. Okay. It is called date night. Finding the no, no. answer date to night, it's called datenightmovies.com. Okay. Datenightmovies.com. So this is when I disagree with a movie that you want to see. So you have to give me your pick no. of a movie. So what you do? Finding the answer to what should we watch tonight? So, so my movie would be at right at this very moment, um, Blackula. Oh wow. So you type in your movie, black no B L A C U whiteness. Blackula. Why am I all caps? All right, Blackula. And then you type in, what movie do you want to see? I want to see Jaws. <laughs> Jaws. <laughs> which makes, so the, so they tell you what movies you should watch So let's together. look at this. The Silence. Oh, 
like Nightmare Before Christmas, I think is one of the worst. I hate Dream Nightmare. Where are the, okay, drag me to hell. I don't know. Oh that no, one. I love that movie. It's a great movie. Maxie and I watched it. Now I hey Barbara seen, Haas. I've seen World War Z. The next three days, legend. Okay, here, give me give me another movie. All right, but this is crazy because where are the black people? Where are there no black, black people? You love. There are no black people. I'll give me another movie. All right, uh, let's do um, Sparkle. Another that's, movie that with truly is But no, we're going to say the 76 version. Because that's well, the best version. Well, my 1976 movie is What's Up, Doc. I mean, I don't What's know. What's Up, Doc? What's up, Doc? So what do they say? All right. There's no black movies. Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> no, whatever, jump. Is that a oh, black person's tomorrow. head? Jump tomorrow? It looks kind of like Wilfred Brimley. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm like trying to figure <laughs> out. How oh, you pillow talk it. with 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 um, how the like, fuck is pillow talk up there? It's sparkle with a bunch of black people and then a movie with a bunch of white people. So we're worried about this website. This is not a good website. Michael said this would be a fun bit. It was fun for me. It was fun for a bit. That was it. Here I said that he didn't hear me. Fun for I know you oh, yeah. heard it. The Emmys are this Sunday. It is the last thing we are doing on this thing. Do you want to go to this site? I wish I, I wish my friend Billy Porter the best. Wow. I think that would be just are you, brilliant. We're going to do this real fast, y'all. Let's go real fast. Share the screen. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. See if we can do this. Okay, so we have... Emmys 2021. All right. We're going to go through There's this real fucking There's too many buttons I can fast. to make this work. Okay, so this is... Um, these are, this is Entertainment Weekly. They're talking about who they think will win. So they think, for instance, The Crown will win. I've seen I want Lovecraft won. Country to win because I'm uh, voting for everything say, black. I love Lovecraft. That we're moving too fast because we're over time. Stop it. Billy Porter for Pose, they're saying, is going to win. Um, Billy Porter black. would be great to win for Pose, but he but, has already won. I would love Jonathan Majors to win. But however, I'm going for everything black. But Reggae Jean Page's butt should maybe win. I'm just Honey, saying. Honey, his out butt could win on my face. All right. <laughs> Let's go. I'll stay the Emma actress. Warren, I, Journey Smollett. No, well, I don't know. Oh, uh, no, there's Michaela J. MJ. You know, you and I have not seen Uzo Aduba so, in In Treatment. We've I'm going to go it. with Michaela J. or Uzo Aduba because I want everybody black to win. There we go. Actually, no, I'm going to go back against that. I want Journey Smollett to win. Again, everybody black to win. I'll stay the supporting actress. Yes. Um, who's there? Jillian Anderson's going to win. I don't know what you're going to do about that. <laughs> All right, but I didn't get to say this, my black person. No, 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 I didn't just, say my black no, person. No, do the sporting actor because it is a black person. Michael Kenneth Williams, Lovecraft Country. Boom. Should win, will win, but, hopefully no, will win. No, but I didn't get my black supporting actress. Is there a black supporting actress yes. there? I want Anjanou Ellis to win from Lovecraft Country. All right, move on. Let's Lovecraft go. Lovecraft Country? Bitch, go. Country. Move. Country. Say Bitch, country. Move. Cunt move. Tree. Don't say cunt. Tree. You said cunt. I did not. Um, Can we just fast forward through something? All right, so, no. Okay. Oh, here, there's, there's, oh, do you want okay. Tina's Thomas? Uh, no, I want Jason Sudeikis to win. Here's Sorry the, about that. Do you want, G oh, now I have to say this. I want Jean Smart to win over Tracy Ellis Ross. I'm I want to Tracy Ellis Ross to win because she deserves it. But she's, Jean, she's done six, six, then, six I'm seasons. sorry. Jean Smart's been in how many shows? How many? How many fucking how has many she won? How many decades? A 34. How many All right, Tracy Ellis Ross, keep going because we're done here. All right, who do I want? Uh, Thompson, actually, though. I want Bo and Yang to win. Actually, I don't know who to win because Brent, well, Brendan Hunt is a friend of mine. How anyway. fast would you possibly talk in this right. moment? We got to go because it's too fucking late. Uh, okay, Hannah Waddington. Let's just go. I, you like Ted Lasso. Yeah. What are you going to do? All right. I don't, I don't uh, really care. We don't care anymore. Watch the Emmys on Sunday. Let's go back to us. I'm Get rid of this. To us. Oh, let's see. They were watching us do this this entire time. I know. It's so, so fucked up. Know. It's so fucked up. Here's the deal. All right. My, my, my one, I have to say this. Yes. I know it goes against your Tracy Ellis Ross, but Jean Smart was one of my favorite people this entire year. I loved her in Hacks. I was like, what show is here? She got, she has two more seasons. She'll win this But year. also, uh, Michaela Cole, which we didn't get to. Michaela Cole. Michaela Cole. You went through it. No, it was hey, at uh, the bottom. She was at the bottom. You didn't let me get Michaela Cole's she the bottom. Was talking. On because we're over an hour. Topic. It is stupid for us to go over an hour. What I don't understand is why don't we just round out slowly as opposed to kind of making it this fast, like crazy weird thing. It makes no sense. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here on the NPR. It's been a lovely time. I'm Meshach Srender. I am Coriander Williams. 
Who's in? Who's in? Who's in? Who's in? Who's in? Who's in? Oh my god. Cheers. See y'all. I had seven callbacks this week. Bye. <laughs>